Okay, let's go through this. First and foremost, let me introduce you to my Red Rock Micro Complete Universal Bundle, option 1620, with Micro Follow Focus Black Professional Series and Micro Follow Focus Lens Gear Kit Black. That's the official paid hacking slip and invoice for what we are reviewing here today. The total cost, $5,100, approximately 7.5% of the overall approved budget, which I approved. This complete bundle can build the field cinema setup, which includes the map box with barn doors. The complete bundle can also build 13 other DSLR handheld setups. And to tell you the truth, why I love this so much is that you can basically create whatever setup you need for your shooting situation. I will show you just how flexible as we review this setup you see on the screen now. There are five different items labeled in this picture. Number one is at the bottom center of the picture and the numbers continue clockwise. The items numbered are the 15 millimeter carbon fiber rods, the skeleton of the Red Rock Micro structure. Carbon fiber is an amazing product to a filmmaker, like sugar-free candy to a diabetic. As a side note, so I don't get any angry comments, I am a type one diabetic and a filmmaker, so I am safely grounded in my analogy. Carbon is a bit pricey as diabetic candy, but the value and the worth and the pure joy of participation. <laughs> ah, well, you know where I'm going with that. Note the numerous lengths available, 18 inch, 12 inch, nine inch, six inch, four inch, both in 15 millimeter and 19 millimeter girth. This next image is the same profile as the previous. Here I have numbered the Red Rock Michael support components. Numbers one, two, three, and eight are called 15 millimeter lightweight support arms, swing arm assembly. I call them ribs. Number five and seven are the base plate and the micro clamp assemblies. Number six is the micro support cheese plate, arguably the most important part to the whole rig as it is the foundation upon which we build. Number four is the padded shoulder rest. You can actually manipulate by using an Allen wrench and can change the direction and angle. Number nine is the grip rod, eight inch by 15 millimeter assembly. Arguably another of the important accessories to purchase if you are considering buying piece by piece rather than buying the offered bundles. This next photograph is from the left profile perspective. This angle gives an excellent view of all the onboard accessories. Number one, shows the cheese plate, then the clamp and base plate under the camera. And you can see how the support swing arm assembly create that rib cage shape, but you can equally create a wing shape where the ribs curvature would face outwardly. Note, number five is a must item as it gives you a 360 degree mobility on a plane with perpendicular points of intersection. Red Rock calls this little item the micro mount with micro spud. I love that last part, the spud, because I have a brother with that same middle name, Sputnik, which we shortened and called him Spud to this very day. You needed to know that. Examining the rig from the rear, note the rod construction for the right side of the mat box. My goal was to create a configuration which would allow me maximum freedom of adjustment of the mat box based on different DSLR and lens choice and or configuration. This particular setup allows me to move the mat box up and down, in and out, side to side. I can now in minute degrees adjust to any DSLR and lens combination quickly and easily in the field or studio. I will cover the construction in more detail as we move forward to the next image. Here is a close-up on the construction used to get the map box and follow focus to be as flexible as possible when introducing different cameras and different lenses into the rigging. As noted earlier, I am shooting with a Nikon D810 with additional accessories, and I also shoot with a Nikon D610. Either camera could be primary depending on my needs. I don't want to have to stop and tear down my whole rig if I want to change a lens or a camera. So I constructed a dual rod, multi-level track design. Number one shows how my 18 inch by 15 millimeter rods are supported by the cheese plate and supports the base plate clamp attached to the camera. This allows the camera full mobility independent of the map box and follow focus. Number three and four are the rod construction that allows for the follow focus to clamp and move upon. 
number five is one of the four pieces that comes with an additional purchase for the Micro Follow Focus Lens Gear Kit Black. The ring is attached to the lens. Red Rock offers in this package four different ring sizes and types. So far, I have changed to four different lens sizes and types and have been able to attach my follow focus with ease, adjust it and the map box to fit appropriately, and maneuver my camera in the right position along the horizontal axis of my tripod and fluid head. Number seven and eight, if you recall from the previous picture, the setup allows the map box extraordinary flexibility. This next photograph gives you a detailed close-up on the left side. You can see numbers two and three. Detail the construction of the follow focus clamp and lens gear ring. Here is an even better detailed photograph of the gearing and how important it is to be able to make fine adjustments up and down, in and out and side to side. Each lens gear is different. Each lens is different, width, length, thickness, as well as where the focus grip on the lens is placed. Maximum flexibility is needed if you're going to be changing camera, lenses, etc. This construction allows for that fine tuning needed. In fact, you can get so close in this configuration that lens drag and lift is completely alleviated and controlled. So I have pinpointed out all the parts that I am using from the Complete Universal Bundle. I still have other parts that were included which are not used in this particular setting. I do want to point out a few accessories used that are not part of the Red Rock collection, but Red Rock has something similar in their stock. Number one is a hot shoe screw mount. Number four is the Velo three slot hot shoe accessory. This little $11 pickup is a gem. I can get three accessories right where I need them, quick and easy. Number five and seven consists of the grip rod and the micro mount. You may be wondering why the Atomos Ninja Blade video monitor is facing towards the front of the camera. Well, I do a lot of solo shooting and I'm off and on camera. I can move the grip rod and micro mount in just about any manner and direction to set that monitor wherever I need it. Whether I am in front or behind the camera, I can always maneuver the monitor so I can see and frame my shot. This photograph gives nice detail of the construction and accessories used to develop a flexible monitor design. Number one, denotes the base plate. This is another of numerous styles available. I call this one the torch because it is shaped like well, sort of an Olympic torch. Despite another questionable analogy, what isn't questionable is the crazy flexibility this little item gives you. Basically, you can attach this to any monitor at all and place it anywhere in the rig, wherever you need it. The Red Rock Micro Rigging is built around my Nikon D810 with the AFS VR Micro Nikkor 105mm f2.8 G IF ED nano crystal coat lens. Now that's a mouthful. <laughs> Both brand spanking new right off the presses. Attached to the bottom of the Nikon is an additional battery grip accessory. Also note that on the upper left part of your screen is the Atomos Ninja Blade monitor, high speed capture unit. In the top middle of the screen you can see three other accessories attached. Two Sennheiser wireless receivers and a ProMaster wireless remote shutter release. At the top right of the screen, you can see the Zoom H6 handy recorder used to record all audio, and including this. In fact, this setup configuration, no recording of digital image or audio occurs on or in the camera. Everything is sourced out so as to get the highest quality image and sound. An HDMI out from the Nikon D810 into the Atomos Ninja Blade captures the HD. Simple. As I was building each of those setups to photograph the images that I used in the, the video, I kept on thinking as I was building them, oh, I could do this, or oh, I could do that. And oh, I got to remember to do this when I want to do that. It, it, it's a fascinating tool. I'm even using it in my lighting kit, you know, to extend my lights off of my uh, C stands and such. I mean, it's that strong. I'm using the LED lights and I'm really getting flexibility even on that level. It's about 30 pounds total, what you've seen. So it takes some weight. It's extremely sturdy. There's just nothing, nothing bad about it. 
Like I said, price, functionality, construction, availability, long-term use, flexibility, usefulness, ease of use and difficulty, ease of integration. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 9.5. And really, I would give it a 10, but I have to find some negatives in it because I don't want anybody to think that I'm a homer for Red Rock Micro. So I dug to get a couple of negatives just so I could have some. Okay, so here's my first negative. There are a lot of component parts to this setup. 42 pieces plus the Allen wrenches and washers that are a part of it as well. So you have to be really organized when you use this kit or you're going to find yourself missing pieces and, and, and losing items. But that's not Red Rock's problem. That's, you know, our problem. So I say to Red Rock, hey, a guy like me who bought a complete deluxe collection, one would think you would offer a Pelican or a Gator a carrying case, especially with all these parts. I, I have no problem paying for that. Uh, but it would be nice to have that. So maybe that's an opportunity for me to uh, make a little extra money to offer a setup for that. But other than that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this piece. I, I love it. I love it. If you like what you see, you have an idea, you want something, from scripting to editing, contact us, rspcreativestudios at gmail.com. 818-257-4378. Ask for Robin.